Today, we are over here on the all-new Sam.gov website. In fact, let me just pull it up so you know where we're at on the new website, Sam.gov. It is all new and improved. They just updated it the a few weeks back. Uh, I was holding off from going on the website until they made the final changes. So it looks like here, these are the resulting changes on the Sam.gov website. Let me try and shrink it a little bit. Uh, looks like it's not going, so I'll pull it down for you guys so you can just see uh, what we're referring to here on the screen. So I'll pull it down just a little bit and let folks see we're at SAM.gov, which is now the combination of both SAM and Beta SAM. That's exciting, right? Mm. So we'll see. Let's take a look. I have not, um, the two, two times that I've attempted to go onto this website, it would not let me on. So let's see if today I can get on the website. And for all those people out here who are brand new, uh, SAM.gov was the original website that the government used for your registration. And then beta.sam.gov uh, was the website where you went to actually do the searching for opportunities. So beta.sam.gov was formerly FBO. SAM.gov was formerly CCR. And again, that's going way, 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 way back. Probably too much information for the majority of folks out there listening. Uh, only thing that you're probably concerned about now is what do I do, right? Fair enough. And we're going to go ahead and dig into SAM.gov today because now SAM.gov is the combination of both SAM and formerly Beta SAM. Uh, what's interesting here is that the government list, this is a free site. So they list here on the right-hand side that this is, site is totally free. The problem is the spammers don't go here to find out about free websites. So that doesn't really do us any good telling us it's a free website on the free website. But uh, again, it's GSA and I've tried to call and make suggestions and uh, they went unheard. So have some of our other organizations I know of, I'm not gonna mention any names, did the same thing. So again, it says the registration process was changed over in May of 21 and then the user registrations everything they're supposed to be here so let's go ahead and the first thing you'll know on the home screen here it tells you to look for contract opportunities let's take a look and see if we click on opportunities and click search what happens all right so at the bottom, you can't see this, but on my screen, the little HTTPS FSD.gov is popping up. I don't see anything that happened. So with that said, let's go ahead and play with some of these tabs. Uh, nothing happened there. No surprise. Do not be discouraged if this site doesn't work exactly the way it was supposed to work because so far GSA has had a terrible track record of getting these websites up and running. So now under contract opportunities, we list contract opportunities. As you'll see, there's a all new search feature. Uh, let's go back and do our old searches that we used to do notice types. Let's look at sources sought and see what happens. Okay, that's working, it populates the screen. That looks nice, that looks nice. Let me make sure everyone can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my screen so you could see the full image of everything on here and what I'm seeing. So that's nice. It shows uh, a running track of 13,000 results, uh, active results. So let's go ahead and see how do we sort this by the date range. So again, it says response date. We can do within the next week. Or actually, I don't want to do the next week. Let's change that. I want to look at published date. So let's look what came out this past week instead. And it should be somewhere, there you go, 600 opportunities. Do you see that there, 600 plus opportunities? Uh, let me switch over here so you can see it's a little bit bigger on this screen, but there's 600 opportunities here. Uh, and it has everything from fire and repair, fire and repair and smoke detector. So we're gonna, we're gonna dive into that a little bit in just a moment. But before we dive into that, let's look at some other things on here. Uh, let's just, uh, one of the things that it shows is you have the results per page. So they do have on here new where it allows you to increase the results per page. And I'm not sure why you can't see that on the screen, but right here at the bottom, it says results per page. I'm clicking it and it lets me change my results to 50. And then now I can see 50 results on one page. Uh, 
great feature to have. Nothing new from what was already on the previous FBO. So again, it's a nice feature to have. Change your results at the bottom. But it's really not an improvement over the previous FBO website. Um, just kind of putting back in some old features. I like the display here of the website. So it looks really nice. Uh, it looks clean. However, uh, this is much easier to scroll. Uh, that's one of the reasons we pulled it into the Excel spreadsheet because we had a hard time scrolling through these hundreds of opportunities. But it's still, it's still, when you have 616 results, uh, that's still a whole lot of stuff to scroll through. So for me, um, I would still be interested in exporting that to Excel file. Now, it, other than that, um, let's click on one of these results. Let's pull it up and see. Uh, one of the issues that they had before was inconsistent information. Uh, so let's pull it up. Okay, this looks like the old website, sam.gov. Um, nothing new. Here, this is the same format as was displayed previously on beta.sam. So nothing new has changed there. On the left-hand side, you have uh, these descriptions. For all of those people that are new, um, this is actually now where you can register entity. And I'm sure that many of us have already done that. Um, but for those folks who have not done that, let's go ahead and sign in. Uh, click sam.gov. Here's my email address there. Sign in. All right, rules of use. Let's continue. It asked me for a security code. So I don't have my app, so I'm gonna have them send me a text message to my cell phone. And let me pull up my text message. Okay, gives me a combination letter code. It says, do not share this code. So please don't copy it. I'm just kidding, you can copy it. It probably won't work for you, but BKC. It expires in 10 minutes, so I'm not really sure what's the point of not copying it. All right, and I'm logged in. Great, it lists my entity registration, which is kind of neat. Uh, and really, let's see. So I've got my entity active here. Uh, I'm good. My next update is July the 2nd. Uh, next 30 days, one entity registration. So that's here. Uh, for those folks that were wondering on the previous screen, here's my download. So that's good. Let's see what else is new. Browsing through. This looks cool. Add a role. Options in a role. If you roll. Uh, okay. Nah, nothing special here. So it literally, it looks like to me that they just combine the two sites. That's pretty much what I see here. Because uh, nothing really looks different. I mean, there is some layout things, but uh, when you get to the actual page where the data is at, all of that looks consistent with the previous sites. Let's see. I don't want to hear no more about monitoring performance and about phishing emails because when we try to send you phishing emails, you don't want to hear from them. So let's go back. Uh, let's see. And again, I'm, I'm just diving into this myself. All right, so there's my entity. If I want to register a new entity, I click here, go in and register a new entity once you're logged in. And you go through, put out your registrations, points of contact, submit. All right, so nothing really there has changed. Um, start your registration process. Go through and do the registration. Um, I will likely do an example of that in a future video. But for those uh, persons who are new to the website, uh, we've had videos where we discuss what information goes inside here. Uh, all of this is more than likely to be the same as the previous edition. Um, however, they just put it inside of a new website. So again, all the information, the same points of contact, reps and search, your core data, look, entity information, business information, all of that looks to be identical. I'll go ahead and zoom in. So all of this information is the same as the previous website. It's just you're putting it into this new sam.gov beta sam merged site. So uh, nothing special there. 
And then let's go back to our search features. Now that I'm logged in, we'll go back, pull up our search. Beautiful. All right, it lets you search organizations, federal organizations, which, I mean, you had that previously. So let's go back, let's look at our sources sought for the past week. Six hundred sixteen results. Over here, let's make sure you can see this. Okay, you can't see that screen. Let me just switch it to another screen. All right, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm over here on actions. I hit download. Save it as a CSV file. Download it. And I'm going to pull that here. And I'm going to pull up that CSV file. Give me a second so I can add it to one of my screens here. Okay. Let me add it to the big screen. Ah, that's not the one I wanted. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So it's here, but it's really small. Let's see how we can make this bigger. I'm not sure why this is so small. All right, there we go. All right, so we're here and we pulled on our results. Open it up for everybody out here. Let's pull this down and we'll pull my big head over some. So that way you can get everything on the page. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. So now we are over here uh, and we're looking at contract opportunities. Beautiful. Uh, so again, it really, same thing. Uh, we have 1616 results. When you pull it into Excel, you can easily sort and search this information, this data in seconds. So again, uh, I like the new layout. It's great. I'm glad that it's all one site now, sam.gov. That reduces confusion for folks. But at the end of the day, to me, this still makes the most sense um, over anything else out there. So I thought that would be helpful. What we're going to do is we're going to continue the video, and now we're going to discuss the opportunities uh, for this particular result. So again, if you were curious about sam.gov, feel free to stop here. If you're interested in this week's upcoming opportunities, continue with the video. So we're going to continue this and look at these opportunities that exist. I'm just not going to stop the recording. So let's take a look at what's out this week. And funny thing is, I was actually getting ready to do this anyways because uh, I'm now back in the business development phase, our organization. Uh, where we're at right now is we uh, have additional resources. Uh, we had got to the point where we grew really quickly, and so we maxed out our resources, but uh, fortunately, we've got some additional resources now, and I have the ability to start bringing in more work. Uh, it's a good problem to have, but it's a problem that if you do all the right activities and you continue to do, just like Randy, uh, you're going to start winning contracts and you're going to need more resources. And that's a good problem. Uh, in fact, for those folks out here, uh, just want to give everyone an update uh, on our 200 companies list for the 200 companies. $5 million. We have four companies right now that have hit the $5 million mark. So again, we're looking for more people out there who are interested in hitting that $5 million mark. Maybe that will be you. You know where to find us, govconedu.com, 
GovConGiants.com forward slash pricing for more information. Let's go through and see what's out here this week. First, repar- first responder skid kits, uh, one-year service contract. That's dental compact wheelchair recliners, annual preventive maintenance contract. Proprietary maintenance repair of the systems. GSA multi-agency contract. FAFs. IDIQ. Cybersecurity and zero trust software. Base operation support. Rubber floor installation. Annual preventive maintenance. Annual preventive maintenance. Italy, some electrical upgrades. We've got some people over in Italy. Catholic religious education coordinator. Surface ship combat system production. Amphibious assault vehicle, family vehicles. Liability insurance providers. That's interesting. Uh, Some folks always are asking me, does the government buy my services? And here is a great illustration. Saad over in Hawaii. In fact, my buddy John sold Saad down in Miami-Dade County. Modular prefabricated skiff. Cecil, where are you at? They're looking for skiffs. Rental vehicles. Fire protection services. Lease and retail space. Parking spaces. Transportation. What's interesting, by the way, congratulations to all the students who won contracts this week. Um, what's interesting is that even here, uh, there are projects that we're going after that never even made it to the market research phase because they knew of uh, one of our students who was already working with that agency or who already had relationships. And so they sent them the information if they could respond and that took care of the market research. So it never even made it here publicly. So I I always find that fascinating when I go on these things and look at the information and I go, wow, uh, some of the stuff that we have or the contracts, we never even made it to this phase. So forget making it to the formal um, listed projects, but then it doesn't even make it on the market research because they already had an internal pool of contractors that they were working with that they were able to essentially uh, make that determination. Uh, Motorized stage and software package. Control systems. Leasing office space. More control systems. I don't know what happened. My mouse. I was about to quote that they're going to so source something to the New York Times. And my mouse kind of skirt. Brooklyn campus boiler repairs, tactical slings, ponchos, cybersecurity defense services three. That sounds like. Yeah. Okay. Washing machines. Oh, there it is. Intent to the sole source of New York Times. So they got a subscription to New York Times. Fascinating. I see a lot of crane and hoisting maintenance repairs. Helicopter pilot flight training. Paving project, Nikki. HVAC chillers. 
People always just say there's no HVAC work out here. Sources out for roofing. Multiple NSNs for Black Hawk helicopter weapon system. Long-term contract OEM for Sikorsky aircraft. 3D simulation software. And we have things from equipment to software to cybersecurity to replacing carpet. If there's, you can't tell me there's not something out there for everyone. Air filters. Dorm furniture. Batteries. My buddy John does batteries. Some more software training. Leadership development program services. Actually, I like that one. Let's take a look at that one. Let's go back over here. Okay, we'll pull it up. Let's open a new tab. Take a look at what they're showing us. Minds for Renona, Leadership Development Program Services. Tulsa District. Ooh, I know someone just met with the Tulsa District recently. Uh, this, this screen is better. I don't know why. Let me take and put my... I'll move to the other side. Maybe that'll help with these things. All right. Tulsa District. All right. Uh, they provided a PDF. Let's pull that up. Just for those newbies out here who've not seen this before. So I download the attachment. All right, here we go. All right, and this is a source of salt. Let's go ahead and review it. Uh, 16 pages. Due June 18th. Not a request for proposal. All right, so this is a four-year project, Tulsa Corps of Engineers. Option for years. So it's an IDV. Leadership and Management Development Program, uh, Analysis of One's Leadership Style, Guided Preparation. I know we have people that do stuff like this. And it tells you the key factors for success. You got to have, have mentors. All right. No meals are included. Give you class schedules, facilities. I mean, all this stuff. There are people out here that do this day in and day out. What I want to get to is, all right, here we go. Uh, here's your PWS, performance requirement summary. So it tells you what they're looking for, that you've got to meet. And then I just want to show folks. This is, okay, here it is. So this is what you actually submit on a source of sought request. Um, this is what they're looking for. <laughs> and this is why I tell people it's really, it's really, really easy to do, unlike a proposal or RFP. You see here, it asks for business name, address, point of contact, telephone, email, type of business. No brainers. Duns, cage, average number of employees. Again, still just stuff that you should be able to spit off the top of your head. And then the... Past performance section is one through four. Recent projects, contract information about the recent projects, indicate whether or not the port performs a primer sub and key personnel. All that stuff you should have on your capability statement. So this is really pretty, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Let's jump back over here and keep scrolling on the list. Uh, E-learning. This is interesting. Let's grab this one. Let's take a look at this e-learning over here. See what they have. This sounds like LMS. To me. Maybe there's something I could do. 
Maybe. All right. Veterans Affairs. Change my... Uh, that was not good either. That was this one. All right. Here we go. That this EEO training. I'm telling you, I've seen so much of this EEO training. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, if someone had this under their belt, their arsenal, this is, um, this is gold. In fact, maybe I should just do it because so many folks are out here. The VA requires access to online learning, library, and off-the-shelf virtual instructor-led training course to provide EEO training to counselors, investigators. Okay. And that result in findings of discrimination. The e-learning off-the-shelf virtual instructor course must be on demand 24 hours a day, seven days a week, short notice. The, the off-the-shelf learn e-learning web-based courses and off-the-shelf virtual instructor course must be developed by federal employment law experts and offer reliable, authoritative, and up-to-date content that merges federal employment law and real-world application. This is pretty neat. Um, and not terribly difficult to pull off. I love it. I love it. I love it. I definitely think someone out here in our group should respond to that. In fact, I'm going to highlight this one. I like this one. Fire alarm services, um, neighborhood system command, tier one out of the manufacturing system, fuel tank testing services, request for information, data science platform, 60 ton chiller, BAA, broad agency announcement. They're looking for domestic vendors for the following parts. Plasma Pro 100 Cobra. So again, all manufacturers out here. Renovate a building. Where is this at? Got to renovate a building. Okay. We're about halfway through our list. And we're at the 27-minute mark. So let me rush off because I know there's some people out here. Unrestricted $495 million. Maytok. For the state of Hawaii. Ooh, Hawaii. That's big. Charles, that's for you. Ariel's. Okay, serial subscription. Okay. Photograph and flat art on paper conservation. Okay, interesting. Electronic billing services, kitchen equipment, defibrillators. I know people who've done defibrillators. Runway friction testing, vehicle parts. By the way, when you put it into Excel, you can also just click find, right? So you can search and find and sort through all of this information really, really easily. So I would just encourage everyone to, even if you don't know how to do this, to learn it. Practice. Watch this video twice. Watch it three times. Um, but figure out how to download this and pull it into Excel. It will make a world of difference um, for those out here who are looking to um, expedite this process. And especially all of us who are limited in terms of time and staff, we got to figure out a way to make our jobs easier. Request for information, fresh fruit and vegetable support to DLA sub troops. Um, come on, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we can do this. Health technicians. Ooh, I got a friend of mine who should be looking for that. By the way, this is an exercise that I don't do every day, uh, once a week, twice a week. I think it's sufficient. Some more containers. In fact, when I get off, I got to I got to call my guys. Helicopter tugs, we're almost done. Repair main gate, I've got it. someone who's working on a contract now. Grant evaluation. 
This is interesting. Let's take a look at this, and then I'll let you go. In fact, I'm going to save this. I'm going to go through the last list, and then this one we're going to come back to this grant evaluation. Let's just go through the, the list. See if there's anything else up here exciting that we want to discuss. And if not, we'll make this grant evaluation the last opportunity to take a look at. Global Market Research Report. Okay, so we'll do we'll do this global market research report and we'll do this grant application. Okay, all right. So let's look at this grant evaluation. I'm sorry, I said application. Let's take a look over here. It's interesting is that when I put these keywords in, it saved them. So that was kind of interesting. Grant evaluation. Let's see what the government's talking about. All right, this is interesting. Uh, this work will involve designing an assessment tool and performing a, a climate assessment for up to eight community planning and development offices and headquarters in the field, five identified offices and potential three additional ones submit of individual reports after each assessment outlining current conditions and recommended steps to improve the climate. The contract will also provide a final report outlining the climate and recommend actions across the offices assessed. So it looks like here contractor is, uh, is for grant management support services Fair Housing Initiatives Program Division, Office of Programs, Office Deputy Assistant Secretary for Enforcement Programs, da, 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 da. the response for developing fair housing policies, implementing program management, and administration of these FHIP. They look at the contract and support, provide analytical experience relating to funds. So you're going to review and evaluate grant applications for funding, perform assessments, conduct post-award reviews, prepare monitoring reports and assessments, monitor them, give them back the reports, and I guess the, serve as a liaison between HUD, the field offices. So it looks like you kind of do the whole thing. Looks like it to me. Okay. All right. Let's go to this, this next one here. That was interesting. Let's pull up this next one, Global Research Report. Global Market Research Reports. Oh, this is cool. I like this one. So the enhanced uh, industrial preparedness, government plans require a clear understanding of global logistics networks and issues related to cultures, customs, infrastructure, supply constraints, and logistical nuances. Okay, looking for vendors capable of conducting extensive market research reports over 100 locations, 25 countries. Every country will be looked at as a separate requirement. Cool. And they got some examples in here. However, uh, for all intents and purposes, you who is responding to this, um, this is what they're asking for. Company name and information, familiar knowledge, current experience, and described services. Provide comments, concerns, and recommendations to the attached scopes of work. And that's it. That's all you have to submit. So, again, much easier process than trying to do any type of RFP, RFQ, or any of that kind of great stuff. So, uh, I just want to remind everyone out there that now is the time to get involved. Now is the time to start building relationships with contracting folks because uh, we're now in June 
uh, July and August. They're going to be making those awards, and you want to be in front of as many people as possible. You want as many contracting people, engineers, project managers. You want as many federal humans to know your name, know your face, know your organization. So now's the time to get in front of them. If you have not done that or if you need help doing that, uh, visit us over at govcongiants.com forward slash pricing for more information on how to get started today. So again, if you haven't done it already, visit us over at govcongiants.com forward slash pricing. Consider our 1.0 or 2.0 course. Uh, either way, we're going to support you whether you're receiving four calls or four programs per month or one a month. So definitely browse over to our website. Take a look at us today. Enjoy. I hope you get the most out of you can out of this program and look forward to you subscribing and following us on all of our content all across the board. Thank you.